Chapter 2 In response to the September 11th attacks, the United States adopted a response system that provides flexibility and standardization called the National Incident Management System, or NIMS, which is a structured framework used nationwide for both governmental and non-governmental agencies to respond to natural disasters and or terrorist attacks at the local, state, and federal levels of government. One component of NIMS is the Incident Command System, or ICS. ICS is a systematic tool used for the command, control, and coordination of emergency response. ICS dictates the chain of command and identifies the key positions and their roles in the event of an MCI. ICS optimized multi jurisdictional operability can create a scalable, common framework that allows the most efficient utilization of resources. Flexible and Modular Organization The Incident Command structure is organized in such a way as to expand and contract as needed by the incident scope, resources, and hazards. Command is established in a top-down fashion, with the most important and authoritative positions established first. For example, Incident Command is established by the first arriving unit. Only positions that are required at the time should be established. In most cases, very few positions within the command structure will need to be activated. For example, a single fire truck at a dumpster fire will have the officer filling the role of IC with no other roles required. As more trucks get added to a larger incident, more roles will be delegated to other officers, and the incident commander role will probably be handed to a more senior officer. Only in the largest and most complex operations would the full ICS organization be staffed. Conversely, as an incident scales down, roles will be merged back up the tree until there is just the IC role remaining. Span of control. To limit the number of responsibilities and resources being managed by any individual, the ICS requires that any single person's span of control should be between three and seven individuals, with five being ideal. In other words, one manager should have no more than seven people working under them at any given time. Lines of Communication Lines of communication are predetermined communication pathways which limit non-essential communications that assure key members of the incident can effectively communicate. 